Hey guys, welcome to Excel Tutorial Channel again, and another episode of statistical functions and formulas in Excel. So in this video, we are going to cover two other functions to cover in this playlist, which is percentiles and quartiles, which is also very integral part of our statistical calculation. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do it because you are going to learn so much in upcoming minutes or upcoming weeks, months, and years because we are going to cover each and every aspect of Excel. So let's get started. So here we have a very basic sheet which we have also covered in our previous examples like in the rank function and the statistical overview video. So here we have a student's name and the marks here which is 62 to n and we have a number of 13 students in this scenario. So in the first example we are going to learn about percentiles function in Excel. Okay. You can use the percentile function to calculate n number of percentile like 20th percentile, 30th percentile or whatever number you want. Okay. So without further ado, let's get into the example and let me explain you using that example. Okay. So we have a 13 students here. Okay. And I want to find 20th percentile, which means 20% of 13 students which will be like 2.6 around okay 20 percent of these students of this course are lower or equal to the outcome we will get let's just enter our formula here percentile so here we have a two argument to fulfill first is an array which we will select like this which will be the scores or marks you have in your worksheet to find the percentile and next is k k will be the percentile number like if you want 20th percentile or 10th percentile and n number of percentile you can just add it here but keep in mind it should be in decimal like if it's a 20th per 20th percentile it should be in decimal form because it will be a 20 percent because it will be denoted as 20 percent okay so you need to convert that into a decimal like 0.2 close the parenthesis so there you got your answer 55.6 what does that mean that means 20 percent which is 2.6 out of 13 students of this course are lower or equal to 12.7 okay so let's find out which marks are lower or equal to 555.6 this is first okay 54 is the first 50 or again is a second so yes we get the two here so here we get the third also so we get the 2.6 per student out of the 13 of the scores are lower or equal to 55.6 which is correct hope you understand how does percentile works and in the same way if you want to find 90th percentile or you guess a 90 percent then you can just add it like that so there you get 94 so it says 90 percent which is approx 11 to 12 out of 13 of these marks we have are lower or equal to 94 so if we count it as like that so yes we have majority of marks under 94 there you go is equal to and only one is above 94 which is 98 so we get 12 students marks are lower or equal to 94 so it should be correct answer so it should be 12 or 11 students in our class so you can calculate in the same way like we have done using percentile function so there's also another function which is called quartile function so what does quartile means quartile means at one fourth of the number right so instead of using percentile if you have to find some quartile statistics in your worksheet so you can use a straight out function which is called quartile so let's see if we want a quartile score out of this marks so you can also perform the same way with the help of percentile by using a 25 percent like like we have used as a 20 20 percent here 90 percent you can also use a 25 percent but if you have a straight out scenarios where you have to use only the quartile statistics then you can use quartile function here so how you can use the quartile function there you go so it's also very straightforward 
so here we first select the an array of marks here and next is quad so keep in mind the first quartile will be 25th percentile right because it will be counted as 25 percent of marks and next will be denoted as second second quartile which will be 50 third will be 75 and the maximum value will be the 100 so we don't need a maximum value let's just find out with the help of 25th one here which is the first quartile so here we get our answer first quartile close the parenthesis and click enter so we get the 58 what does that mean that means 25 percent of our marks like this are lower or equal to 58 marks and if we just add it out like second here so it will give you 66 that means 50 percent of our marks are equal or lower to 66 right so you can also do the same with the help of percentile but if you want a straightforward answer using the quartile or you have uh, some scenarios where you just need to classify your marks or your sales number or anything in quartiles then you can use the quartile function which is very straightforward as we have described here so if you have learned something from this video please click the like button i know it may be confusing for some beginners but you need to clear your terminology regarding the percentile what is quartile and the same and where you can use it but if you want to polish your excel skill then this example may be perfect for you so if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do it because we are going to cover more and more videos about statistical in upcoming days and if you have something to ask regarding this video you have a comment box with you do comment it we will reply to your query as soon as possible so if you want to share it to your friends colleagues or social media then you can sure use the share button so see you in the next video until then bye bye